Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for a swipe. It's that time of the month where I collect up all of my leftover paints from my other projects, pop them all down on the canvas and we do something interesting with them and see what happens. So today I'm going to do a swipe. So I've got all of these little pots of paint left over. Now I don't have as much this month as I have in previous months because I just haven't painted so much this time with it being Christmas and me being um, unwell and everything. So I've got a few bits of colour left over but I'm also if necessary going to supplement them with a few of my regular colours because I'm going to do a larger canvas today. And the reason I want to do a larger canvas is I want to test out something new. This. Somebody wrote to me about uh, swiping and said, you know, there are so many tools that you can use for swiping. Have you ever tried a paper towel? And no, I haven't. She said there was a video on YouTube, but unfortunately I've searched and I couldn't find it. Um, so if you've already tried it and I'm copying you, sorry about that, I wasn't able to find the video, but um, I thought it would be an interesting experiment. Now, normally I use the small paint chip cards and I do reasonably small swipes. So I thought if I get a larger canvas, the good thing about using a paper towel is I can break off however much I want. So if I wanted to do a complete swipe over the whole width of the canvas, I could actually cut myself a piece this big and swipe, whoop, swipe all at once. In fact, I'm going to swipe down the canvas so I won't need quite as much. I'm going to break myself off a bit. Will that be enough there? Maybe a bit more. So I'm going to break myself off a nice large piece of paper and we will use this for our swipe tool. But first of all, I need to layer up the paints on my canvas ready for the swipe. You've seen me do that so many times before and it's really not going to be that exciting or interesting. So um, I'm going to put it on fast forward, uh, put all my colours down and then we'll come back and we'll see what happens with this paper towel swipe. Okay, so, so far so good. I've got all of my colours laid out. I've also got a black mixed up here. This is a Mars black, which I've mixed with some Floetrol water and treadmill silicone. This is gonna be my swipe colour. And all of my others, there's no fixed recipe for any of these because they're all leftovers pretty much. The ones in the bottles will be mixed the same. These are two parts paint, one part Floetrol water and treadmill silicone. All the others, they could be a hodgepodge of anything mixed in there because they're all leftovers from others. So now I'm going to take my paper towel and just lie it out behind me. And I think it needs to be wet. I think if I put it on here dry, it's not going to work well. So I've just got a spray bottle and I'm going to spray this. how wet it needs to be because I've never done it before so we will see but I'm sure if I did it dry it would kind of be too light I think I'm not sure anyway I thought a light spray would be better so while I leave that to soak 
I'm just going to put some of this black along the top edge of the painting and then we will have a go at swiping and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's only black. Now let's bring my paper towel over. Already got a rip in it, that didn't work out. Okay, and I'm just going to lie it along this top edge into the black paint. And now let's give it a drag and see what happens. Okay, well, I made a foolish error. I left my bottles of paint just here off the, off the, um, the side of the painting. And as I got to the bottom, I couldn't swipe properly because they were in the way. So give yourself plenty of space to work if you're gonna do a swipe with that method. However, my, uh, my little cloth here looks very, very nice. And I've also got one complete swipe on the painting. It missed just a little bit on this bottom corner where I was kind of trying to get around those bottles that I shouldn't have left there. But otherwise it's looking really good. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think the weight of the tissue was just right. If it had been dry, I think it might have like skipped over. Um, but of course, that's another thing that you could try. If you want a different effect, then um, vary the weight of the tissue. You could try a dry one and maybe it would skip a little bit more over the surface of the painting, give more of a, a varied effect rather than a complete swipe like I got by using the, the wet tissue and just did the whole thing in one. But actually, the, the end results are really nice. I'm very happy. I'm just going to run it over lightly with the torch to get rid of any air bubbles. all I need to do even at the top here um, a lot of the time with the swipes sometimes if you swipe a little bit too heavy you can make um, a thin bit in the black at the top or your swipe color but I'm just going to keep an eye on it I think it may have a couple of little bits that I need to just touch up with the brush but otherwise it's perfect yeah it looks really good okay so let's bring the camera down I'll show you some of the cute details on this leftover wet paper towel swipe and there we go, looking pretty cool, right? I'm really, really liking it. It's got, it's a very different effect to my usual swipes because normally I swipe in, you know, smaller sections and I get a much more varied look. So it's kind of nice for me to do something different for a change and get a different look to my paintings. I've got lots and lots of small cells and that's cool. I'm happy with that. I could tilt, of course, and um, stretch these out and get larger ones. But I think with those small cells, just the details in them, they're absolutely staggering and I'm really going to be able to take some fabulous macros, I think, of this one. I shall get that tablet over in a minute and see if I can make some really nice, um, some close-up photos of the details in this one. Because all of these teeny teeny cells, all outlined in black, they really do look really, really nice. And just the top section where the colours are starting to peek through the black, I really like it. So I'm very happy with this. I can definitely say, yes, if you want to do a large swipe, you want to do the whole thing in one, then definitely using a piece of wet paper towel or kitchen towel, kitchen roll, whatever you use it, uh, whatever you call it, is gonna work to give you a complete um, swipe in one go. And of course you can make it as wide or as narrow as you like. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, I hope you'll give this one a try and report back on how you get on using a paper towel for your swipes.